Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm playing with batteries again and I have been corrected the batteries I was playing with last time was uh, lithium ion batteries they were not they were not lithium polymer this one is this is a lithium polymer and they are very dangerous and these are lithium ion batteries and they're not as dangerous I made that mistake I want to show you what I really want to waste one of these one day but not today I want to show you what I've been planning in my little head and um, it's on the table so so let's go to the table and see that this is what I have been working on and thinking about yeah what do we see here I have a electric conduit uh, it's something that you can mount on your wall it actually comes with a lid as well it's uh, rather dirty but um, this plastic thing you can mount and you can put a, a top cage on it and you can uh, put your cables nicely in the wall and it has the feature of being very cheap it just happens to hold two of these batteries side by side very snugly in place so that's kind of cool and they're in there very good they're not going anywhere you can turn it upside down and so um, I've lined up 13 batteries in this chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so that makes from here to there there is like 48 volts and if we measure that That's about 86 centimeters, 85 actually, but plus a little bit in each end, 86 centimeters, and I'll probably put a little bit more in there, so 90 centimeters, it's about here. So this, here we have a battery bank of 48 volts. They're in there very nicely. These are the ones for the from the Lenovo battery packs. This is a, this is a new one that I got. This contains, I think it's nine cells that is in this one. I have one from a Dell laptop right here. That's probably just six. And then we have this lithium polymer. Uh, I have no idea where, where that came out of. I just took them in the bin. So yeah, um, the plan is that I can build more of these. And I've been putting in some separators here. I made a small separator out of cover like that and I was able to put them in and tighten everything together so that I can actually measure the voltage from this is just part of it I've been charging this there's 28 volts right here so that's kind of cool Let's see if I can do measurements on the whole bank they're 50.7 volts. That's about my thoughts of making power banks for my uh, house. One of these or two of these are of course far from enough, but this is something that I, I could just keep building these. And hopefully I'll keep getting good used batteries and I have to find somewhere to, to separate these, put some separators in it and I have a charge controller coming for, it's actually meant for an electric bike, but it's 48 volts. So it's able to make a, a balancer so that you charge this chain of batteries, but it also sees the charge in between and it can measure that out so that every set of batteries are uh, the same voltage and has is not overcharged or undercharged. That's kind of the idea. I'll just take this apart now that we are filming anyway and this one seemed to be very good last time so
quantum. Ooh, that's the worst one I've taken apart yet. Nine cells. Pretty cool. Because these are really well made. The last, the ones I took apart last weekend was a lot easier. I got all these out, I'm gonna measure them, but um, I just wanted to show this conduit that I found holds two batteries. This is what it looks like, and it's meant for mounting on the wall and hiding away your cables. So I'm gonna measure out 90 centimeters, and for those of you who's not accustomed to that, 90 centimeters is about, what is that, 35 and a half inch. Ryobi, I think that will be able to do that. And I'll cut that. So that piece of conduit, or, or this cable hiding away device, <clears throat> actually um, ended up being two of these. So now I can put my new arrival in here. Yeah. And when there is another line right beside them, you just check. It's it's very snugly. Yeah. It it expands the conduit quite a bit, so it holds them in place. There's like some grooves in here that that holds the battery, and it bends a little bit in the back. I think it looks pretty well. I also bought some in China. And uh, these are Ultra Fire, and they claim to be 6800 milliamp hours. And according to everything, this is bullshit. I got ripped off like you wouldn't believe it because these batteries, I don't think they get much over 3000 milliamps. So when this claims to be 6800, uh, apparently that's bullshit. And this pack is lighter than just one of these, or oh, maybe it's about the same weight. I think this is still heavier than this, so yeah. I got ripped off, I was stupid. I paid $14 for 14 rip off batteries, but well, I'm gonna put them in anyway. I'm getting a battery measuring device for these, which is pretty cool. It will be able to determine how much power these can really hold. I'm thinking that they can probably do 680 milliamp hours, not 6000. Let's try and build a conduit with these as well. Side by side here. Put those in. Maybe, maybe even put them in nicely. And the ultra... The ultra cheating thing and this one. Nice to see what brand this is. Cool, I'm gonna do that and be right back. So I took the other, the little Dell battery, had six cells, and it's these seven, um, what's purple ones? Light purple ones. And so now I have two more or less finished power cells. Have four strings of 48 volts. We can just I can just show that on the multimeter here. If you can see that, yeah, it might be visible. So minus down here and plus up here. Here we have 50.7. Here we have 52.5. Over here we have 50.0 and 51.2. So, 
but that's the idea of building cells like this getting separators to put down between them mm, I was I was looking at some PCB boards put a PCB down here or something with the spring load to to actually get a better grip to the batteries but I am not sure yet what I can do here and then these has to be tied together like this because uh, the charge controllers for these are it's not expensive it's 14 point something dollars but it can handle 30 amps and each of these lines would just be a maximum of 3 amps probably more like half 1.5 or 2.2 amps I'm gonna try and make these when I get my battery measuring device I'm gonna take out all the cells and test them and, and write down how much energy they are able to hold and make strings of similar batteries so that I don't have an ultra fire in a line with good batteries like this is probably a good battery probably four times as good as this one maybe and that would be a bad idea this is just for show right now I don't even have anything to charge a string like this I could of course um, put them on my solar panel I'm not supposed to charge this with more than is it 54 volts so yeah but this is the idea building more of these getting more batteries I have only got this one left um, someone sent me a video where these blew up I'm a bit afraid of taking this apart. I think I'll I'll save that for next weekend, maybe taking this apart, seeing the cells inside. It's probably there are probably more cells like these. This is also lithium ion battery. These are lithium polymer batteries. So yeah, I'm working on my power bank. Um, it's gonna be like these. I'm hoping. This is the idea right now. I'm in, I've seen a lot of video where the, these are soldered together and what I was hoping for was to make something where I can actually go in and exchange a battery or take out a line of batteries. I would like to be able to take this out and exchange it for another one and make maintenance on a string like this and put it back into the system. That would be really neat. That's the goal anyway. Do write down in the comments and give me all your suggestions, your brilliant ideas. I will guarantee that I can't use all of them, but I really enjoy reading them. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.